Now, South Korea's defense ministry has concluded that the Hwasong-15 missile that North Korea launched on Wednesday is a new type of ICBM, considering its altitude as well as its appearance. The ministry also confirmed that the missile is capable of targeting most of the U.S. mainland, including the capital, Washington, D.C. Kim Yun bin reports. South Korea's Defense Minister Song Yong Moo confirmed that the recent ballistic missile launched by North Korea was in fact a newly developed intercontinental ballistic missile. The confirmation came on Friday during the first parliamentary briefing since North Korea launched the ICBM on Wednesday. The missile reportedly traveled 950 kilometers and reached an altitude of nearly 4,500 kilometers before splashing into Japan's exclusive economic zone in the East Sea. The minister added that the Hwasong-15 has a range of over 13,000 kilometers meaning it is capable of hitting the eastern United States, including Washington, D.C. The ministry said the North's test appeared successful, but more analysis is needed to see whether the missile successfully re-entered the atmosphere. Re-entry technology is considered the most difficult technology to obtain when developing an ICBM, as a warhead needs to endure scorching heat when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The ministry said the missile is longer and wider in diameter than the Hwasong-14. Footage and photos of the missile released by North Korean state media on Thursday show the bigger missile with a round and blunt warhead tip. Many experts say the round warhead can mean the regime might be developing a multiple reentry vehicle with several warheads mounted on one missile, making it more difficult to intercept. Some experts believe that if North Korea fully develops its miniaturized warhead, the Hwasong-15 could carry up to three nuclear bombs. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.